Howdy doodly do guys, welcome back to Dirt Rally. Um, I'm continuing the tradition of using these as a channel update video. Um, and speaking of updates, there has been one. Uh, we have a new Finland contact pack full of these two cars and a Finland stage which I'm going to run through for you. Um, the Korea's kind of fallen on the back burner, as you probably have noticed. Um, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Um, because I think I think the last few months has been a, a really good learning experience. Like when I started the channel and started thinking about how I'd like to do things, the practicality of it against the idea of it, it, it was it was always going to be hard initially to judge what I was going to be able to work with, what wouldn't make sense, what would prove practically difficult. I've had a lot of technical problems, which has killed a lot of um, a lot of playthroughs, um, or at least made them. It's broken the flow, it's made them unwatchable. RimWorld immediately springs to mind because it's constantly being updated and all the recent versions are not compatible with my recording software for some reason. Uh, I've not played this game in months, so this is going to be humiliating, no doubt. Um, so, really, this video is to sort of inform you of some changes that are going to be happening, and I'm more confident than I've been previously that these uh, these will be the last changes I'll need to make before we can start to sort of have some real consistency. Um, starting from the top, uh, I was really pretty pleased. It's a bit racist. Um, I was really pleased to be able to bring Grand Prix World back. Um, I still have the San Marino Grand Prix to upload. Um, which I'm going to try and do later today. This, this update video will go out shortly after I've made it, I think. Um, so Grand Prix will, will be continuing because that was really why I started the channel, um, to be honest. Moving on from that, of course, the stuff I do with Simon will continue. We've had a, quite a long hiatus for that because of his work commitments and my vacation. Adventures in Bastardry. Um, you'll probably have seen in the last video, if you've been following it, that I've been having some real problems with uh, GTA 5. Look at that. Straight through the trees. That'd be impressive if that was the goal of the game. Um, in order to sort of remedy that, the best thing, uh, I think, is to take footage from uh, Joan Grant. Um, they both have very, very good computers. Um, they both have native recording software that can record to a very high standard. In fact, Grant's is, is the same as mine, which by the way, you should notice a quality increase because they peer pressured me into upping the bitrate of my videos, so hopefully that's appreciated. That was a nice jump then, well done. In order to sort of get around those, those technical problems, what what's going to happen is we're going to have a collaborative channel. And the collaborative channel is going to it's going to focus really on our because Grant's going to have his own channel, I believe. Uh, Joe, I'm not so sure about that. Hurt. Oh, I've got a rear puncture. Nice. Um, but it will enable us to work cooperatively um, without having to invest in, in too too much time really in transferring data files between us and editing. Um, everyone's footage together in a, a really clumsy and clunky way that, you know, it would extend the production time of a video massively. So if we sort of were to take Grant's viewpoint, for example, for Adventures in Bastardry, then you get the high quality that you should be getting. And we don't waste lots of time recording footage that later becomes unusable because my game crashes. If my game crashes, everything I've recorded to that point is lost into the ether forever. Um, and it just will basically mean that we should be able to get more of those episodes out to you. I really think that out of everything I do, um, Adventures in Bastardry probably... Oh, that puncture is killing me. Adventures in Bastardry has the, the... Can I stop, please? There we go. Get rid of that puncture. Adventures in Bastardry has the most potential. Um... It's a game that I wish I had my headlights. It's a game which is popular. Um, it's a game which lends itself very well to emergent co 
cooperative gameplay. So, you know, if I was ever going to have a series that got a lot of views, that was the one that was potentially going to be it, because a lot of everything else I do is quite niche. Um, that's what I want to do, that's what I enjoy doing, so that's not necessarily a problem, but if we're going to do something that you know, could potentially help the rest of the channel, then it's best to do it to the highest standard possible. So, once that channel's up, I'll give you guys all the information you need, and hopefully you'll go over there and, and subscribe and like and, you know, enjoy what you see. Um, it just gives us a, a lot more capacity to, to be a bit more ambitious with the cooperative stuff, you know. Heroes of the Storm as well is something that we've been looking at a lot recently. Um, I was reluctant to do it initially, but it turns out I'm not as terrible at it as I first expected to be, so, uh, you know. Not that I have a problem with embarrassing myself, of course, you know, this channel stands as testament to that. That graphics bug is still there, look at that. Now, moving on to my solo stuff, so, obviously you're losing Adventures in Bastardry, what else are you losing? Um, you'd be losing Rimworld, um, I hate 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 that I've not been able to get a good let's play together with that but it's just proving too annoying technically and I'm sure there's a solution but I'm too lazy and short of time to come to one and that would always damage the quality of the video you're going to get out at the end of it. With that in mind um, I need to replace that of course um, I still want to be able to put out two or three videos a week if I can. Ideally more, but it's... Oh, that handles horribly. But again, my schedule is so variable, it's really hard to know. Um, and I, I, I know the key, really, to growing the channel is consistency and to be reliable for you guys, and that's something I, I really am trying to take seriously, but um, especially the last, I'd say, six to eight weeks, it's just been incredibly difficult to predict when I'm going to have a moment um, to be able to record something and then be happy with the outcome, you know. Uh, not everything you see is first take stuff. So where does all this leave us? Um, Rimworld, gone. Um, probably not permanently, but certainly for the foreseeable future. Likewise, uh, Silent Hunter 4 Bastards of the Pacific, that got off on the wrong foot anyway when I started the game with the wrong settings. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to present that properly. Um, I tried to emulate a style I'd seen before, but I don't think it really works for me. And part of doing things right is figuring out what you are doing wrong as far as possible. Um, I also don't think it's a game that's going to interest too many of you. Um, <coughs> what else is going is... Oh, God damn it. It's City Skylines. Uh, the After Dark expansion came out. That looks really, really good. I was not at all happy with the city I was building. Um, I thought it was a nice idea to try and use the relief map of um, the area around my hometown, but it just proved too messy and bitty and I don't have the vision or imagination to make something particularly good um, and rather than just starting again outright it seems appropriate to just take a break maybe have a look through the Steam Workshop and maybe come back to it god damn it how did I even manage to do that oh, I'm totally lost turns out you need headlights in the dark this has to be my worst performance ever, but in my defence, I haven't touched this game since the last video. I like this card though, I mean it obviously isn't very complimentary to my performance, but whatever. So enough waffling about what isn't happening, what actually is happening. Um, I've been doing some test shooting, and what I think I can put together uh, interesting content for, aside from Grand Prix World, um, is going to be some uh, 4x and grand strategy stuff because it's a nice slow pace it's not necessarily going to be graphically demanding in the majority of cases oh, god damn it I'm just gonna recover I don't care about my time this isn't career mode it's not going to be taxing on my system, it's not going to cause problems with my recording software. I I've tested all the scenarios I can think of. 
um, I've been practicing backing up my saves, uh, just making sure that when I start something now that I can see it through to the end for you. Um, now on the list of games that I was thinking of bringing to you was uh, Jagged Alliance, um, XCOM Enemy Unknown, but uh, in the case of, of both of those, um, I'm tempted to hold off simply because XCOM 2 is out February next year and I'd really like to play that through together with you. Um, for me, XCOM Enemy Unknown is one of my favourite games of all time. Um, I know it's not a true hardcore XCOM game, but the level of challenge was, was still up there and I really liked the way it melded aspects together of base management and research and development as well as you know squad based tactical turn based combat. There will be something like that appearing in February because I really want to be able to play through that with you. I think it'd be a great thing for us to do together. Um, in the interim, until that happens, I'm planning a Civilization V Beyond Earth um, playthrough. It's something I considered before. Uh, the reason we've never done it until now is that like most recent Civ games, the base game is just completely lacking in depth. Um, the new expansion, uh, Rising Tide, in my book is, I know it's my humble opinion, but is probably the best singular expansion pack for a Civ game I've ever come across. It just completely changes the paradigm. Um, it adds so much. It, it, the rework of the diplomacy system in particular I think you'll find very very interesting and I think that's something we can have a lot of fun with. And that will obviously be replacing uh, RimWorld. Uh, replacing City Skylines will be Crusader Kings 2 which is going to be my long term project. We're going to build uh, a dynasty together, the Dynasty of Zero, and the great thing about that game is it's it's got a lot of depth and a lot of levels to it that I feel my presenting style has been a will be able has been able will be able to communicate to you in a way that's entertaining and that's gonna gonna engage you and get you involved in what's going on um, and that's all I really want really for us to have fun together as a as a group. Um, how have I got spun round again? The great thing about Crusader Kings 2 is it's it's not really about managing a county or a nation state or an empire as such. That was impressive. Um, it's it's really about managing your dynasty. So you know, it, it's got an element of eugenics in it, I suppose, where you know you've got to marry the right people to produce strong and healthy offspring that can continue your family line, and you've got to manage a, a lot of intrigue and a lot of backstabbing, and the AI's really, really good. Um, I've already got the game, I've already got all the expansion packs, I've got all the bonus content, I've sunk 83 hours into it, I think it's something that I know enough about that we can have fun with it. Um, so I'm going to use the character creator to create a character, and I'll probably play a generation or two um, off camera before starting the playthrough and try and get an interesting mix of um, traits and genetics to sort of start us off. I think that'd be super interesting. Um, I'll set myself a personal goal as well. We're not going to play for world domination or anything. I think a, a much more modest goal would be good. And, and that's something that, you know, we could have the playthrough running a good few months until, you know, you get bored or I get bored or you, we die, uh, which is quite likely. And we'll start something else at that point. So, in summation, this is what's what. The F1 2015 season with Simon over on High Plane Games, that is unchanged. Uh, Adventures in Bastardry with Joe and Grant, that is unchanged. Um, it's just going to be in a new location. And over here with me, we're going to be doing some Grand Prix World less smashing into rocks in a rally car from the 2000s. And we're going to be doing some Crusader Kings 2. And we're going to be doing some Civilization Back, back to Earth. That, that's not the right name. Civilization Beyond Earth. Um, I'm all over the place trying to... It's really hard to drive a car on its side. I think that's why I'm losing my train of thought. Come on. Oh 
this graphical bug is really fucking me up. Yep, this is a good place to stop. This graphic bug has got so bad that the entire ground is just black. Oh, that needs to be fixed. That really needs to be fixed. But we made it to the finish, even though we couldn't see the road. Congratulations, me. Look at the state of that car. Look at the state of it. Phenomenal. Um, so yeah, there'll be a lot less of this because I'm terrible at it. Um, it was a good it was a good game to pick up and play for sort of 15 minutes when I needed to talk to you guys, but the career mode aspect kind of went out the window because there wasn't a lot I could do in the early game. I still like to come back to this game, but I probably won't look at it again until version 1.0. Do you know, it's a lot easier to talk to you guys when I'm not avoiding rocks and pretending I know how to drive. Let's run over that summary one last time. Um, City Skylines is paused. Rimworld's probably dead until we get a stable version. Um, Dirt Rally is paused until version 1.0, but we're going to have a lot of fun doing some interesting strategy stuff. Um, I still want to get you guys involved as far as possible. Um, I always welcome your comments, your feedback or whatever. If this new direction sounds like it's not really your bag, that's absolutely fine. Um, hopefully you'll come back and check out the channel in a few months time when maybe we're doing something else that, that's interesting for you. Uh, I really hope you'll take a look at the new channel with Joe and Grant. Um, I'll do an update video once that's ready and we've got some content to put up there. Uh, last uh, point will be Blood Bowl 2. Um, I am preparing some Blood Bowl 2 content. Um, I'm doing some league play. The games are really long. Really long. And I can't really comment on them properly yet. My understanding of that game is really, really basic. So, either... I can upload them here with or without an attempt at commentary or maybe I'll shove them up on the collaborative channel. If you have any feelings or opinions on that then slam it below or send me an email. A lot of you, you tend to prefer to Twitter or email me which I, I, I do appreciate. It's, um, it's a good way for us to stay connected and it allows you to sort of get a bit more of a personal response from me because I'll be honest I, I will read comments when I see them but I, I don't habitually check for them. My relationship with YouTube is very much I see the upload window, I drag a video into it, it uploads, I close it. I, I don't spend a lot of time you know optimizing things or looking at my demographics or what have you. Um, because the channel's tiny it's, it's not really worth it. Um, so if you have left a comment and I've missed it by any chance or you've sent me some kind of a message I haven't replied to you. I do apologise, I will go through and try and uh, contact as many of you as possible because I'm really interested uh, to see how you feel about the new direction we're going to be taking. Hopefully you come along for the ride and those playthroughs will be starting this week. Thanks very much for listening to me waffle again. Listening? Listening. I need to learn how to talk. I need to spend some time in front of the mirror, one-on-one -on -one with myself, learning how to talk if I'm going to be presenting shows like this. Have a good one, um, take care, and hopefully you'll join me for some Forex and Grand Strategy action. See you soon.